This tutorial will show you a few things that are new in Smart Notebook. One thing in Smart Notebook that people may not be aware of is in the Help menu. You can actually call up a tutorial. And in the tutorial are all the new features that are listed in Smart. The ones I want to show you today are under the New and Improved category, which is Section 2. But before I get into that, I would just like to scroll through and let you know what else is here. There's a section that um, just gives you a tour of the whole Smart Notebook interface and shows you what all the buttons do. And there's also a section on some quick startups. And so you can look through these to expand your competency in using your Smart Notebook software on your Smart Board. The one thing I'm most excited to show you about today is the Mobile Enhanced Lesson Activity Builders. The Mobile Enhanced Lesson Activity Builder is called Shout It Out. Students can quickly create and contribute text and images to Smart Notebook using their cell phones. The first thing I want to do is create a new, is open a file that I've saved on my desktop, and I called it Mobile Enhanced Smart Notebook. One thing that you will need to do is click on the Lesson Activity Builder icon. If you do not see that, what you need to do is go into your Settings gear on the top right and open that. And here are some other things that you can add up to your toolbar. So, for example, say I wanted to add a screen capture icon up to my Actions menu. Notice that when I have Actions highlighted, this panel right here is highlighted. If I want to put a screen capture icon up there, all I have to do is drag it up and it'll go up into the toolbar. Add-ons is the next panel and you can drag those up the same way. And then tools is in your third panel and you can drag those up the same way. So let's get back to looking at the Lesson Activity Builder. The one that I want to focus on today is called Shout It Out Mobile Enhanced. So we're going to add this activity. You have two options that you can use. You can arrange the items randomly or you can categorize them. And it may be different types of pedagogy that require you to do these things. Um, this arranged randomly perhaps could be a brainstorming activity where categorizing, you could be asking students to draw comparisons between two separate categories. Just so that you can see how this works, I would like to arrange randomly then I'm going to click Next. Then I have a choice of whether or not my contributions can be text messages or images. And the, the students will get a code in order to join the activity. So let's first look at doing a text message. Let's say I just want them to contribute one time, so I'm going to change the 3 to a 1. It's also a good idea to display the contributor names. Now press Next. And then you can add some bells and whistles to this if you want to. You might want to put a buzzer in or a timer. Um, for now, I'm just going to keep it simple and click Finish. So the way I see this working is you could have a question posed to the class in your lesson in your Smart Notebook file and then give them an opportunity to, to respond in live time using their smartphone. So first, make sure that all this is set up the way you want it. Your contributor names are on. I'm going to allow one contribution per device, and I'm going to use my trash can as well. Trash can allows you to drag responses over to the trash. In case you have someone who's not really doing this appropriately, you can just drag them over and trash them. So I'm going to start the activity. Once you start the activity, the instructions that you give the students will be to open their web browser and go to classlab.com and then enter the ID number that's projected on the screen. Notice as I'm projecting the website and the code in the bottom, I get a message that says waiting for students to connect. So I have entered into the classroom and I just typed in my username and you will see my name pop up. Okay, so let's say I asked a question that I wanted the kids to respond to. They could take out their phones and then they could type in their response. Then they're going to get a message to send their response and then it's going to pop up on the screen. And so if you do the free form structure of a mobile enhanced smart notebook file, the answer will pop up in random order. 
If you have an answer that you do not want to keep, you can take and you can drag the answer to the trash can. And I will confirm that I want to delete this object. I can also pause contributions. And then the students will get a message on their phone that the activity has been paused. I can resume the activity. And then I can also end the activity. Let's add a new page and try this again with the other one where you categorize. Okay, so if you wanted to set up a categorized activity, you could still go to the Lesson Activity Builder, add this activity, choose Categorized, and then you would give your category names on the top here. Okay, so let's say I wanted this is a very simple activity. Let's say I wanted them to just go out onto the web and find some blue and gold images. So I give them my categories. I say images. And let's say that I can have kids contribute two things per device. And I'm going to leave my distributors, I'm sorry, I'm going to leave my contributors names on. I can set a timer. Let's set a timer on this activity. And let's say that I'm going to give them four minutes to find something blue and something gold. Click Finish. And click Start the Activity. So I'm going to pause the video for a second while I go find something blue. OK, so I'm going back to my class lab, and I'm going to contribute a blue photo. So at this point, I've taken a screenshot of a photo on my phone. It's in my photo library, and I'm going to find it. And I've selected it, and it takes a minute for it to process. And when I press Done, I have to tell it what category to put it in. So I'm going to select Blue on my phone, and then I send it. And then shortly after that, you will see a blue image pop up on the screen. Now I'm tasked with finding something gold. So you can either take an image from your photo library, or you can actually take a photo in, the, in live time. So I have a gold piece of paper here that I found. And I am going to upload that. And I need to categorize that as gold. And then I click Send. And then shortly after that, you will see the image appear onto the screen. So this is obviously a very simple application of this. But you could see how it could be used for different types of sorting activities. And those are your mobile enhanced features that Smart Notebook now has.